All right, y'all, I'm here today to answer the question everybody's been asking me, what's in the case? So believe it or not, one of the main questions that I get a lot is, what sort of guitar do you play? What sort of gear do you use? What kind of uh, goodies you got going on in there? What sort of accessories do I need to be a successful guitar player? Well, you're in luck. That's what we're talking about today. Let's check it out. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hey, welcome back. I'm so glad you guys decided to come join me again. What's in my guitar case? The mystery of the day, which is very important. I, I do get asked this question all the time, wondering what sort of gear I use, what sort of guitar that I play. I used to go to Guitar Center all the time and just would go into the acoustic guitar section and sit there and play for hours on the most expensive guitars that I possibly could find because it just sounds so sweet. So, this is my baby. This is the Taylor 614 CE Cutaway Electric. It's got the maple back and sides. Hey, let me get this light out of the way, geez. Beautiful flame maple back. The same on the sides. Spruce top. Beautiful guitar. I started playing Taylor's at Guitar Center before I could afford them. Very, very long time ago. And um, just fell in love with the way they sound, just how crisp the sounds are. And that's what I have chose to stick with. Whenever I actually got a job and I could, you know, afford a guitar, I um, immediately knew, like, yeah, I'm getting a Taylor. It's just, there's no question about it. I mean, obviously there's something, I mean, look at this thing. It looks fantastic, sounds fantastic must be fantastic in science. And not to say that, you know, the Taylor that I play is the highest end of the ends that you could find. It's a really good guitar for what I need it for. It's got a really, really great sound. It's got really good crisp highs and, you know, good, good mid-tones and a good, decent low, because a lot of uh, acoustic guitars kind of lack in the, the low department. So that's what I like about Taylor is it's sort of an all-around kind of guitar. You can play different types of music on it and um, you're good to go. So this is what I play. It feels great, it feels good in my hand. It's got a good width of the neck for the size of my hand. So if you're shopping for an acoustic guitar, you really need to think about how big are your hands or how small are they? Because certain necks are really wide and it feels really awkward in your hand. So you need to find the right one that feels right for you. So do what I did, go to Guitar Center or some other, your local, your local guitar shop, try out some different styles, just different brands. See what fits right in your hand, because really so much of guitar playing is feel and just being in a comfortable place. So if, if your body's comfortable, your hands are comfortable, then you're gonna play way better, guarantee you. And so if you're wondering what type of strings I use, well, they are elixirs. I use a medium gauge elixirs, which I believe is 12 gauge. Correct me if I'm wrong. They say that they last quite a bit longer, which I, I found to really be true. Just, it really depends on how much you play. If, you, if you're playing all the time, and you're playing gigs all the time, if you're, you're playing at church, you're playing at home, and you're practicing all the time, you're gonna wanna go with a string that's gonna last you a little bit longer just so you don't have to keep buying strings, new sets of strings all the time. I play quite a bit, so I can put one set on, I, I'm good for at least six months. That's just my own frequency and, and how much I play. If you look here, just for ease of use, ease of whatever, ease of whatever I want to do. I got my capo up here on the top. This guy right here. This is not just your traditional clip-on type of capo. If you see this here, by a company named Shub. Not Grub, sounds delicious. So it's a different style of capo than what you're used to with your traditional sort of clip-on capo. Um, but this one, what's good about these is you can put it on your neck, clip it on, and then there is a dial on the back of this where you can cinch it down so it evenly displaces the pressure across your fretboard. Which is one of the drawbacks, I think, of the normal clip-on type of capos. So 
you could get some buzzing in your frets, you could get some maybe notes that are that are too flat or too sharp, depending on how, what the pressure is on your capo. What, what's good about these, I love these, because you know there's the same pressure at the very top and the bottom. You're gonna get an even tone across your fretboard. Very important. We use capos a lot. We love them, they are your friend. Other. clip-on style of cable, just get rid of it. All right, so I'm not gonna try to pretend like I have the most organized guitar case in the world, which I what? don't guarantee it. What else do I have in my guitar case here? Let's check it out. So one thing's very important, especially if you have a cutaway electric guitar, if any sort of electronics on your guitar, you need to have extra batteries. Um, most pickup systems take a nine volt battery, and so what I've chosen to do, because I, I have a lot of camera equ equipment that also uses 9-volt batteries, and so I, cho I, found, I found on Amazon these 9-volt these batteries, and I, I like these because they're 800 milliamp hour batteries, so they will last a little bit longer than your, just your standard normal rechargeable batteries. You're going to want your pickup to last as long as possible. You don't want to be in the middle of a show, in the middle of a set, and then your battery gives out. And bye bye sound, no more sound, sorry. Have a nice day. I mean, these are cheap. I think I paid maybe $25 on Amazon and I got a set of four of these and it came with a charger. So I mean, it's a good deal. And then you don't have to worry about buying, going to the grocery store and buying batteries all the time. All right, moving on. Then, always important for when you're changing strings, you need your little tuning key turner. Man, when you're changing strings, you don't want to sit here and just trying to, you know, get this thing done. It's just not, it's, it's going to take forever, man. This thing just, it's like, it's like a power drill. You just, my advice is just to get a guitar maintenance kit on Amazon. You know what? I'll probably, I'll link one down below. The one that I bought, actually. Just, so get that. You don't necessarily have to have it in your case at all times but it's a smart thing to have. Moving on. Guitar picks. Guitar picks are very important to have. You wanna have a lot of them, a ton of them, a great number of them. More picks than you ever will probably ever need in your life. Picks are a very, a very personal and touchy subject for a lot of people. Because I mean, everybody has a different feel and every style of music arguably has a different type of pick that is better for that type of music. You know, just, just to be safe, the best way to go is get some sort of medium gauge pick that has some sort of grip tack on it so that you can actually hold on to the pick when you're playing. But if you're doing, doing some, any sort of picking, you know, strumming, acoustic type strumming, just like a medium gauge pick is probably all you're really gonna need. But if, once you get into to more doing, doing more solos, and um, doing things that are faster, you may think about getting a thicker gauge pick. There's different types of pick. There's thumb picks, there's finger picks, there's all kinds of weird, crazy shapes and sizes, and just don't overcomplicate things, is, is, is all I'm gonna say. Just get a medium gauge pick. What I like, I'll tell you what I like. I found these picks from Snark. They look like these. Turtle shell picks, they're, they're medium gauge. They're 0.78 millimeters, I believe. They feel really good in the hand. They'll come with a file, a little bit of sandpaper type guy right here. So you can kind of file down the edge, file down the edge of this, this pick to make, you know, for whatever particular angle that you like to have when you hold your pick. Just as a general rule of thumb, get the medium sized pick. If they don't, they're maybe 25 cents a piece. If you go to your music store, I went on Amazon and I bought these maybe five, 10 bucks, I can't remember. Works for me. Yeah! Now also, I always keep, every day, everywhere I go with my guitar case, I have a guitar tuner in here. What I use is the Snark clip-on type that goes on the end of my headstock. I have a daughter who is very handsy and she has taken my tuner today and she's placed it in an unknown location which I will have to find very, very shortly. But I'll put a picture of it here on the screen. <laughs> you just need to have some sort of tuning mechanism. So if, if you're playing live and maybe you have a, a pedal board, you can have your, you can have a 
pedal style tuner down there by your feet if you'd like to do that. And I, I do have that, um, but I, I just, I like to have the one in my case for when I'm just I'm playing at home. So I just want to have some sort of quick tuning option that's, that will help me to get the job done. And so that's, this is what I like to use. I hit one button, boom, tuning string, good to go. Okay, for me, just something recently that I picked up for my guitar case, or not really for my guitar case, but for me, the tone wood amp. Guys, seriously, look at this thing. This has been out for a little while. This thing, so what this amp does, it uses the space within your guitar to project all of the sound. This is pretty much an effects pedal that you can attach to your guitar and it'll use the inside space of your guitar to project sounds across the room. So it's almost as, almost as if you're plugged into an amplifier, but you're not. This just sticks on the back of your guitar, plugs into your pickup, and this projects this amazing quality sound, which is just insane. This is a great practice tool. If you're at home, you want to have the best sound possible. So you can be inspired, you can, you can play the best music you can, but maybe you don't even have the greatest guitar, but you stick one of these guys on here, guarantee you it's gonna sound fantastic also I know you're saying like wait aren't you supposed to like keep spare strings in your case you know in case you pop a string or something like that you're right you should this is a very important thing to do you need to keep extra strings in your case because you never know what's gonna happen you're gonna like be playing super hard because you're getting into it and you're playing some sort of crazy rock song and you're just gonna like pop the crap out of that string and it's gonna go flying and you, what are you gonna do next? How are you gonna play your next song? So at the very least, keep one extra set of strings in your guitar case, and that's what I do. And of course, it's very important to have a very comfortable guitar strap that you can strap across them boulder shoulders that you got, right? This is my strap here. So I think, I think it's, it's very important you get a strap because if you're standing and playing for a very long period of time, it's, it's very important that you're comfortable. Some of these, these crappy straps you can get at the guitar shop, they're super skinny, they're made out of nylon, and they can just start cutting into your shoulder here. And it just sucks. So what I think is the best thing to do, what I did, I got this leather strap. It's very soft. It's got kind of a suede feel on the outside. And it's at least, I think it's four inches wide, three and a half to four inches that kind of evenly displaces the weight of the guitar across a wider space. If you can evenly displace it out and get a soft material, this is gonna be a nice, comfortable experience for you. You can play for longer and it's not gonna irritate you. It's gonna be more fun, which is exactly what we're going for here. So there you go, guys. That's, that's what I have in my guitar case. That's what you probably should maybe think about having in your guitar case. Please leave comments down below in the comment section. Let me know, because I'm, I'm trying to always evolve and like upgrade my situation here. Hopefully this at least gives you some sort of idea, maybe what you might want to have in your guitar case. When you're putting together your perfect guitar setup, please like and subscribe. I'm so grateful that you've come and you've checked out this video and hopefully, hopefully it was helpful for you in some way. If you have any other types of videos you'd like to see, please leave them below in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.